Many families are afraid of talking politics this Thanksgiving because the country has been so divided. Well, joining us with a special Thanksgiving message and maybe some clarity is Fox News religion contributor, Father Jonathan Morris. So do you think people should just avoid politics altogether or uh, do they have to face reality? It's out there. You know what's worse, I think, than talking politics or religion, at, you know, even in, in a very divided family like a lot of our families are on these issues. What's worse is just superficial chit chat about I absolutely agree with you, nothing. Father. Right. Oh my gosh, I totally agree with you. It's that is funny. worse. Yeah. But I think there is some something in between. Right? It's not especially when the drinks are flowing. It's not the time <laughs> we to talked about that earlier. <laughs> it's not the time to convince your brother that he is so stupid because he doesn't like your particular political candidate. It's not the time. One thing that I think I know my family I have there's uh, seven kids in my family, and my, my parents made a concerted effort at big th uh, Thanksgiving meals or other holidays to have something, some sort of structure for Thanksgiving. Everyone who was invited to our house had to bring some show and tell mm. about what they were grateful for that year. This is just an example. And then everybody had to guess. We went around the room and had to guess what that show and tell piece represented in terms of thanksgiving or gratitude and it allowed the conversation to be more i, I think in depth and a little bit more substantial than just the chit chat yeah it's at such the same a great time, idea, Father. I actually do something similar. I have the kids go out and get like a big branch that morning. They cut out little leaves of different colors and we tie strings on them. And everyone has to write what they're thankful for and we hang it from the tree and then we kind of talk about that. Mm -hmm. So at least, you know, we can talk politics, we can talk about all kinds of things, but we still focus on what we're thankful for and don't really lose the meaning of the season. Yeah. My late grandfather and grandmother did the same thing, he asked everyone to say what they're thankful for. But what happens when someone they brings an object and it's a Make America Great Again? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> that okay. is it. Well, maybe we should put some rules down. You can, you can guess what it means, but there's no comment about it. Okay. Right. No okay. comments. Got it. From the peanut gallery. Right. Hillary Clinton's book, What Happened? <laughs> let's, let's go back through what happened. No, I think the most important thing is to recognize that there is value in just being family. Mm, and then sure. to learn more about the other people. Well, you used and, the word prudence. Talk about that a little bit. Well, prudence is, is the queen of virtues. Okay, yes. I wrote this is when I wrote the kind of what we we're going to talk about today. Yes, politics are super important. I spent a lot of my time and effort fighting for social, religious, spiritual issues, um, and also political issues that I think affect human beings. But you have to know when and where to take on those issues and also whether or not there's any chance of actually moving the ball forward. If you know that somebody just hates President Trump or hates Hillary Clinton, Thanksgiving, as I said, when the drinks are flowing is probably not very, it's not a prudent time to try to move that ball forward. No. Maybe you have to step back and say, I just want to get to know you and actually figure mm -hmm. out where you're coming from. Sure. I, think, I also Great think point. like one of the beautiful things about having faith in your family, faith in your community, is that it does put things in perspective, doesn't it? I mean, there's something bigger. There's God, um, there's salvation, and all these yes. things that are more important than the sort of minutia. I mean, it makes politics look really small next Absolutely. to that. Absolutely. I know, Ed, you're a historian. Mm -hmm. um, and Wrote a book about faith and Jackie Robinson. Absolutely. And uh, one of the, one, another, I think, great idea is just to take the Abraham Lincoln's um, Thanksgiving proclamation or George Washington's uh, Thanksgiving proclamation mm. and read it at the table mm. before. Mm -hmm. Maybe yeah. comment on that. In other words, put some structure so that the conversation is not just superficial chit chat, but also is something that everybody can. 100% um, going to do that. It's a great idea. It is great. The Abraham Lincoln's Thanksgiving proclamation was power, is mm. powerful. Very powerful. Wow. I'll I put it also on my Facebook. Yeah. See the John I Moore's. offered to come to Pete's house for Thanksgiving and talk about my book, and he shot me down. <laughs> well, you know <laughs> what? <Not a> <laughs> He's like, no, no, we're, we're good. We're good. Just about a half hour little talk right talk. on your book. Yeah, yeah, half hour. <laughs> Everyone could sit down and be quiet. Father so John, great to have you here. Thank okay. you for happy, being happy here. Happy Thanksgiving. We have so much to be grateful for. We do. Absolutely. Thank you.